Okay, I have been meaning to take this video for so long, and I apologize. Okay, y'all? So, here's our 16 by 20 canvas. I got the um, five pack from Michaels, uh, 12, like 11 or $12. We're going to need our Mod Podge. These are brushes from the dollar store. These come in like a, a eight pack and these come in like a five pack and uh, come in the hardware section. It's usually, I can usually find these in the little craft section. Okay. So this is what we need. Um, I already have a video on how to uh, size your pictures and how to get your posters from uh, Walgreens. So I already got mine printed off. So let's pull it out. Um, I my friend she did paint her canvas. She found white ones and she did paint hers. I have not tried painting them. Um, first, I am lazy and I want it to be black when I get it. Uh, I do get the white ones. So this is a picture that I'm making for my friend. Her father had passed away, so I wanted to make this picture for her. Um, I'm going to be making this one next for uh, a good friend of mine. He likes this uh, picture. So I'm going to put this one up for now. Okay, so the first thing I do is put it on here. It's always like right to the edge and there's always this little white border that comes on there. I don't like that white border so I'm, we're going to cut that off, okay? So the first thing I do is I cut this white border off. Sometimes what I'll do is, is I'll actually go a little deeper in to the white border because I want a little bit of the black to show, okay? So I'm probably going to go in like maybe what is that, like an eighth of an inch into the uh, into the actual color of the picture. And again, I just, I'm only doing this because I want more of a, the canvas to show. And it's not cutting off any of the, uh, it's not cutting off any of the picture. So, I'm going to cut this as straight as I can. Okay, so all we're going to do is cut this off. Cut the border. Same thing on this side. we can get to the fun part. We're going to do this real life, okay? I'm not going to speed up the video or anything. We're just going to do this real life. You can see about how long it takes, okay? So now I got all the borders, I got all that white border off around the edges, okay? Sometimes you might need to cut a little bit more, maybe, you know. So I'm looking. You see, excuse my camera, the little thing just moving. So you can see I'm leaving a little border about that wide. And then on the top, same thing, okay? So right now my whole goal is basically just to center this thing when i put the mod podge on okay so now we're gonna put the mod podge on let's put this to the side real quick this big old blue thing right here i got a new heat press um this this thing sucks okay don't ever buy the sunku uh a heat press 
from Amazon. Do not buy it. Um, it is just, uh, the manufacturing is just uh, horrible on the other side. It came with a big rust spot. But anyway, the tension is not perfect on this one. Okay, so it's over here close to the, the back. The tension is A1. Once you get to the center and over here, the tension is not right. So when I'm making sure to try to sublimate, it's not coming out right. And so what I did was is I, um, I created my own little mold right here uh, and poured a really thin layer of silicone. So I'm going to put that underneath my mat uh, and hope that that lifts it up just enough to where that those spots that aren't getting right are going to do it. Okay. So if you're wondering what that blue thing is in the background, that's what that thing is. It's going to be my silicone mat for my, uh, that's going to lay underneath the, the little red part. And hopefully that'll give the, the pressure, the even pressure that we need. Okay. So let's get back to this. This will be really helpful to see with the black canvas. Uh, this Mod Podge is old. So I might have some, some clumpy pieces in here. Look at, I can already see it. It's nasty. Look like cottage cheese. Ugh. Um, all those little clumpy pieces, I'll just take them out, but I, I'm not throwing away my Mod Podge. So all those pieces that I can't like get out, I'll just, uh, or, you know, lay out flat, I'll pull them out. Okay, so you can see how much I poured on there. At this point, the whole goal is to basically get it all even out. You can see how this little thing, look at this little glob right here. You see it? It's like, get all the Mod Podge that you can, the liquid part out. And then the uh, part that's left over, that uh, part that's like slime or whatever, throw that away. You don't you don't want that because it'll make your picture not even and flat okay so just throw that away once you can get all the liquid out of it i just picked it up with my brush and i'm just gonna throw it away okay so let's even this out this is like painting okay you don't want a thin thin layer but you don't want it to be like super super thick okay you can see uh, on the black canvas how much I'm putting on it's like it's just pretty uh, not saturated but kind of saturated I'm even going to get the little parts I know that I'm not actually covering to the edges but I'm still going to cover that part okay let me move this out the way excuse me So here go one of those little globs again. You see this little glob? It's not even little. It's like a huge one. This is like when the Mod Podge starts to dry on itself, right? So just get it off. I don't want to touch it with my hands. I'm going to use this other little brush. Just throw it away. And just make sure that it's evenly put on there, okay? So now that we have it evenly put on there, get all them little clumps if you got any. Again, my Mod Podge was old and I was using it in the summertime out in the uh, direct uh, sun without putting like the, the lid back on right away sometimes. And so that top layer starts to uh, get, get hard. So I'm just cleaning out these little clumps right now. That's all I'm doing right now, okay? Hopefully you don't have none in your Mod Podge. Okay, so you see how that just looks like a really even coat, almost like you just soaked it up real good or something, okay? See that? All right, let me put my little brushes down. I'm going to get my, uh, my poster, okay? The brush pile is still wet right now, so you can move it around. Just get it uh, to where it, you know you have even spaces uh, on the sides and even spaces from the top to the bottom, right? What I'm gonna do right now, okay? So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start from the middle. We're going to start from the middle here. We really want to adhere this to it, okay? Press down and out, okay? Down and out. Start from the middle. Go 
down, okay? We're gonna do the same thing. Middle, down, start to kind of go at it like a little diagonal, okay? If you're pressing too hard like I am, your, your, your picture might shift a little bit. Make sure it's where, where you want it to be, okay? Now, to really make sure that it's where it needs to be, we're gonna flip it over, okay? Hold on, let me move this over just a little bit. It's like, it's too much on the left-hand side. Hold on. Okay, I'm, I adjusted it. Again, the Mod Podge is still wet, so you can slip it, you know, you can slip it around. I'm gonna flip it onto its side like this. And from the back, I'm gonna do like this. I'm not pressing down because I don't want it to slide nowhere. I want it to adhere, okay? I'm doing the exact same thing on the back. I'll show you. So just like I was doing on the front, I'm just taking my hand and I'm just doing like a slight clap. I'm not sliding it though. If I was doing like this, that would make the, uh, the picture move. We don't want that, okay? We're just going to do it just like this. This is gonna help adhere it, really adhere it, okay? Cause like once you start putting epoxy or something on it, you don't want it to come up, okay? So that's good, right? Make sure that you press it down on both sides everywhere. And then we're gonna gently put it back down. We're gonna do the same thing just on the top, okay? There's a lot of Mod Podge on the edges, right? You see how there's like, there's some layers there. You can take your brush and you can kind of thin that out, okay? Just uh, like blend it, you know, like if you were doing makeup or uh, if you were uh, uh, dealing with paint, you would, you would blend it just so the lines aren't so harsh, okay? That's all I'm gonna do. It don't look like it shifted none. And while the, that Mod Podge is still wet, I'm really just trying to uh, uh, gently Gently just make sure that it's it's there, okay? And this is when your hands is gonna get dirty. I hate this part. I like touching things, but it's like I don't like it when it's sticky, okay? So we're gonna go around the edges. I tend to do it at the same time with my left and my right hand. Um, but all we're gonna do is go around the edges and press down. We're not sliding, we're not pulling or, or anything. We're just pressing down. Okay, my Mod Podge is not tacky yet. If I was working in a hotter environment, it might start getting tacky and your fingers will start to stick and lift it up, okay? Work fast if you're working like in a hot environment um, when you're doing this. But all I'm doing is just pressing it down on the sides and trying to make sure that it's really adhering, okay? So we made sure that this part was real good to the canvas. We wanna make sure the edges is good. We want to make sure that we seal those down. You don't want to give a canvas to somebody and then it start lifting up. The picture starts peeling or something, you know. And again, this uh, this is one of my friends and her father had passed away. So this is something that she's going to want to keep forever. And we want to make sure that it's lasting. So again, I'm just going to go around here. And I'm really just pressing down those edges. You can really start to see when it really starts to like adhere. At first, the poster paper is real thick and it starts to kind of lift up. Let's see if we can find a part where it's lifting up. It's not lifting up none. I'll show you what it would look like though. Oh shoot, I done put it down so damn good it ain't coming off, that's good. Okay, keep on pressing down. The goal right now is really to get it adhered. Now that the, the the Mod Podge is starting to dry. You can tell it's starting to dry because it's starting to get clear. It's getting a little bit clearer. And that's how you know it's starting to dry. So I'm gonna stop working with this pretty quick because once it starts to clear, that means it's gonna dry and it's gonna get tacky and I don't wanna lift it up, okay? And I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna go on the back again and I'm really just gonna make sure that it's adhered, okay? I'm just squeezing it together with my hands on the other side like I was clapping or praying, okay? There we go. So that's our first step, okay? 
that Mod Podge is almost dry. I'm going to speed this up with my little dryer. It's a, my, actually it's not a dryer, this is my, uh, my heat gun. I was using a blow dryer for the longest time. A blow dryer would work just fine. You don't need a lot of heat for this, you just need uh, warmth, right? So I'm just going to dry this really quick, just on low. You'll start, you see, you can see the Mod Podge is already drying on its own. It's already getting clear. I'm just going to help it out a little bit faster. This is also a trick. If you put like way too much Mod Podge on and the layer is like too thick and it's starting to look cloudy and you can tell that it's just, it, it's just the layer was too thick. I pull out this heat, uh, my heat gun and start to heat it and dry it so it doesn't have a chance to get white. The Mod Podge is pretty much clear, almost clear. I'm going to keep it moving. I don't want it to burn or anything. You know, I just, I want it to just kind of make it seem like we're out in the sun. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so you can see how it has that black, uh, the black border, right? So we cut it down for that. Pick your canvases accordingly. Um, white, sometimes white, it's not going to look great. Like I, I know if I put this on a white background, it wouldn't have popped the same. It would not have had that same effect because he, these are gray. It's a gray scale. And so everything's already like in gray, uh, gray and black tones. And so I knew that a black would look best for, for this one. So if you have to spray paint yours before you do it, um, just make sure to dry it uh, all the way before you put the Mod Podge on. So we're ready to finish it. I don't think I have enough Mod Podge here to finish that. Let me grab a new one. This lasted me a while. Okay. All right. So for this one, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to take the top to that old one. And I'm going to use it as a, um, what you call it, like as a palette for this Pour a little bit in there. All right, that should be enough. Okay, so this is when I use this brush. I use the the hardware brush when I'm putting it on the canvas, but when I'm putting it on the poster, the picture itself, I tend to like the sponge book, uh, brush better because this one will leave too much on it. This one, it naturally does what it does. It's a sponge, it sucks it back up. So let's get started, okay? Let's start off in the corner right here. I like to work in small sections. In my mind, I break the picture down into like four quadrants, right? And so I imagine that there's a line here and that there's a line here and then I'm kind of working in this little square right here. I almost imagine it being like a rolling tray, like that's one rolling tray, two rolling trays, three, four. That's how I imagine it. So let's work in this little uh, area right here. So I just start putting it on real thin, thin, thin. Okay, you can always go back and add more, but trying to rush through it and, and, and put it on, it, it, it'll make your picture um, look bad. You don't want that, okay? So I tend to go on one, one uh, motion. 
okay like this except for when i'm on the bottom here i will kind of go over it a little bit like this and then pull it back down okay add a little bit more and i just kind of work my way over blend this in a little bit right here So this is how I do it. Okay, so we're gonna do this layer right here. I'm gonna do the same thing with the heat gun. <laughs> I, I like working outside because the sun, um, you know, dries things for me and it's cold. I'm in Seattle, so it's cold. Um, and so I tend to use my heat gun just to kind of pretend like I'm in a warm environment. It just dries it faster. But again, you don't wanna, burn it so just be careful anytime you're using heat you don't want to mess up your picture after you done put in all that work okay so i'm just going over it if i see any parts that like like it's just whiter you know it's just seem like it's just more of it on there i'm just kind of i'm trying to blend that out just like i would blend out some makeup if there was just you know blend out those lines okay you can barely see it because the, the layer is so thin but you can see thicker areas like right here I tried to blend it out but it'll be okay right so you can see how I'm doing this okay so let's let's do the top part so we pretty much did the bottom part let's do the top part okay so I'm kind of glad I didn't throw that top away Okay, so let's just put a little bit on. You see the little bit that I'm putting on? I don't put a lot on with this. You want to start off with a lot, a little bit amount. I learned the hard way. I was like, I ain't putting up three or four coats on. No way. I ain't got time for that. And I tried to put on a thick coat, and it. they say it dries clear, and it, it, it does for the most part. But if you put the layer on too thick, it's going to uh, to, to look white. It's not going to have a, the glossy effect that you're going to have. It's going to have more of a clouded effect. We don't want that. Okay. So when I'm putting my sponge in here, I'm not putting it on on that side. That's all. I'm just putting a little bit on. Okay. That's not that much. Just a little bit. That's all. Just a little bit. And I'm just gonna brush it in, brush it in. Watch out. Brush it, brush it, okay. Remember when I was at the, the bottom, I said I um you know I I only go in one direction, okay? Except for when I'm at the very top, right here. Okay, so when we're right here, I will go over it like this. But then I finish off by going back up. Okay. When you cut uh, your picture and leave a border, you don't have to worry about the edges so much because the canvas is beveled, right? Meaning that it's it has a rounded corner on it. It's not a completely straight like a 90 degree angle. So when you're trying, if you just leave it the way that it is um, big and you just cut the white part off, what I found is, is that it's really hard to get that corner to lay down. That's why I cut a little bit into the actual picture and have a border. Uh, and I think that the border actually looks really good. It, it makes the, uh, the, the background pop. It gives it a, a framed look because pictures that are framed nicely, they don't, they're not just a picture in a frame. It's like you have a picture that has a little bit of cardstock type of material around it, and then it has a frame on top of that. So true frame pictures have multiple layers or dimensions going on. So you want to make sure to kind of emulate that and kind of, you know, I'm just brushing out a little, uh, I noticed a little ball that I had of Mod Podge. I was just brushing that out. So let's dry this with our heat gun. You can wait for it to dry. That's just fine. You can wait. It'll take about 20, 20, 30 minutes to dry. Thin layers. It's real thin. It might, it might not even take that long. But I'm just going to take the, the, the heat gun, okay? 
I'm just moving it along like it was in rows, right? Excuse me. So I'm just gonna keep it moving, keep it moving. I don't wanna burn my picture or anything, you know? And I have it on low, I don't have it on high. I'm just moving. I'm just touching. See that thin layer is almost dry already. And that part that was a little bit thicker, remember? You can't even see it now. So it dried up just fine. Okay. Let's put this away real quick. I've been trying to keep all my stuff organized. It's so hard being a crafter. You got so much stuff. Okay. So forgive me, I'm not a technology person, okay? I'm just trying to show y'all how to do this canvas. Okay, our first layer is done. Let's go ahead and do another one. Again, I'm just using this to get my glue on there. I'm just getting some on there. Right, so just a little bit. I don't want it like dripping off or nothing. Just that much, okay? So I'm gonna put one more, um, let's put another coat on here. Because there's already a coat on here, you can see it a little bit better this time. I know before when I was doing it, it was a little bit harder. I'm stretching this out, okay? Because that was, uh, it's kind of, it was kind of thick. I don't want it that thick. So that's why I'm stretching it out, okay? Do the bottom part right here. Make sure your little corners are good. Again, if you cut the borders off, or you cut it off and left borders on your canvas, it, it lays flat. But if you do uh, cut it to where it's the same size as a canvas, just uh, really get those corners down. You gotta uh, really make sure that they're down and sealed down. Because like anything, once you put epoxy on it, it's gonna lift it up. Okay. I'm gonna have to put some more on here. Okay, keep on going. We're just gonna blend that in, get little nasties out. Put the bottom part. Remember, go, on, go in one direction. You do not have to epoxy these um, at all like at all. If you were to add, um, you know, four or five of these layers of this, it would have a really nice gloss effect to it. And you don't, you know, if you don't like using epoxy or you just don't want to for whatever reason, that's fine. You can use, like I said, about four or five layers of this and it'll come out really, really nice. This works really, really well with fabrics. I have a, a video on how to do a fabric canvas. If you wanted to watch that, go ahead and subscribe and make sure that you can be up to date with any other videos that I post. I try to share knowledge with folks and show some things that I figured out. Uh, me making these canvases actually started um, because I was making a uh, rolling tray and I was having so much fun making them and then I could not find any anymore and so I was like okay well if I can't find a rolling tray I'm gonna use a canvas because it's the same concept you know it's just bigger so I just thought let me try that out and then ever since then um, I've been making them for friends and family, and, and people have been asking uh, how to do it. And so I wanted to show folks how to do it if they wanted to make these at home. 
make them for money, make them for whatever, get your coins. Okay. My little arms are actually getting a little tired from all this brushing. So I'm just going to finish this little last section over here that I haven't done yet. I'm actually only going to put these two layers on because I'm going to be covering it with epoxy. And once I put these two layers on, it's just fine. Um, I have, in fact, tried to do it without uh, uh, putting the uh, Mod Podge on on top. It works just fine. It does not seep through. This is poster paper, so it does not seep through at all. Um, I have not gotten any uh, form of discoloration. Nothing that I've experienced with the rolling trays when I'm putting the epoxy on. The, the paper's too thick for that. Um, the only reason I put the Mod Podge on is because when I'm sealing it down on the canvas, you know, and pressing it all down, I've noticed that, you know, around where we have adhered it to the canvas has a different um, shine and a different effect to it. And I want it to look even all around. So that's why I put on the, the Mod Podge on top. But if you wanted to go straight to just putting um, a Mod Podge on, just make sure to clean up the edges on top of the poster paper because the Mod Podge changes color, changes the poster paper color. So just make sure to clean that up if you don't want to uh, put Mod Podge on before you epoxy. And again, if you don't want to epoxy, just put four or five layers of this Mod Podge on and you'll be good. Uh, these are dollar store brushes. Um, I've calculated they're about 10 or 15 cents a piece, maybe, you know, 20 cents. So I throw them away. I don't have time to be washing out Mod Podge in my sink. I'm not putting it in my sink. So I throw these damn things away. They go right in the garbage. Yes, they do. Okay, let me put this away. Uh, this is my whole little setup that I have uh, right now. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a better one, but this is all my craft stuff. And so this is what I need. I have all my silicones and uh, epoxies. I got my uh, plastics for when I'm doing things. I do a lot of casting and I don't want to deal with uh, resins because it takes too damn long to dry. Um, and so I use these uh, plastics. Um, that act just like resins, look just like resins, but uh, cure much faster. So this is my little, my little setup. <laughs> all my crafts, those are all crafts. All my vinyls, uh, my molds and stuff. So welcome to my living room slash craft room. Okay, so let's get the uh, epoxy out and get that ready for this video though. I'm going to do that for my next one, so make sure to check that one out. For this one, um, you can see how it is white. See, that's that's like you know you can tell that's that those areas were a little bit thicker. That's okay. Once it dries, it'll be clear. We are gonna quicken up that process by using uh, the, the the heat gun like I have showed you. But this is how you adhere the canvas or adhere the, uh, the picture to the canvas. So again, watch the first video on how to size it and how to order the, the posters. Um, and then you can start on this step, okay? I hope this was helpful. And check out the next video that I'm about to do on how to epoxy this, okay? So we're gonna seal it with epoxy next, okay? All those white spots will be gone once I dry it. <laughs>